today's video I thought in honor of spring just beginning and we're starting April tomorrow because today is March 31st which is blowing my mind right now but tomorrow is April 1st so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys 10 spring outfits. So I went through my closet and um, I was picking out all my spring inspired clothes and all the clothes that I've been saving for the warmer weather. It's officially been reaching like steady 60s here in New York City. So I think it's definitely safe to say that spring's finally here. So I'm just gonna show you guys some outfits that I plan to wear these next few months this coming spring. And yeah, I think they're super cute and I can't wait to show you what's been hiding in my closet. To start off, we're keeping it super simple. I have this little white cardigan on. This is from The Gap, actually, probably from when I was like 10 years old, but it still fits, it's cute. And I just like to button it right in the center and then leave the stomach open. Um, I'm just wearing it with a necklace. Um, and then I have on, these are the mom fit jeans from Zara. They're the light wash yes. fit. They're just like everyday jeans. They're super comfortable and they go really well with so many outfits. For shoes, I have on my Nike blazers. I got these for Christmas. They're white and black. They go with absolutely everything. So I'm always wearing them because they're super cute. Now, if you wanna switch it up and be a little more, more sassy, um, and bold, you can exchange the white cardigan for a pink mm -hmm. one, super similar. I once again just have it buttoned in the middle, leaving my stomach and the top open. I have it on with the same jeans mm -hmm. and the same shoes with just a little pop of color. Okay, okay, I'm trying something here. It might look terrible. This shirt kind of looks like a dad on vacation but it's also from The Gap and I just tied it up because I think this color is super cute and green is super in this spring. I just tied it and buttoned it right here and I paired it with some low rise jeans. So these jeans are actually my mom's old jeans that I stole from her. Shh, don't tell her, I don't think she knows I have them but they fit me super loose, um, which is why they're low rise. And I just paired this fit with some white Doc Martin boots. And yeah, I think it's super cute. I switched it out with another shirt. This is also kind of dad on vacation vibes, <laughs> but this is another vintage shirt that I found in my mom's closet. Yeah. And I just have it on <laughs> with the same jeans and my Doc. And then I also just think that this fit would look really good with this top. Orange has been one of my favorite colors recently and I've just been dying to buy like all orange things for the spring like crop tops, bikinis, <laughs> but this is such a vibrant orange. I love it and it's Razorback, high neck, which is my fave and this is from Urban Outfitters. For my third... <laughs> For my third outfit, I have this super cute white crop top. This is originally from Brandy Melville. It's brand J Galt. And then these super cute pants are actually from Target. And I just have them paired with my plain white Air Forces. And I think this is a great bright spring look. Outfit number four is this little slip dress. It is thrifted, so I'm not exactly sure where it's from originally, but I'm not sure if I vibe with it or not. It's super long, but maybe it's a vibe. I don't know, maybe not. We always love a good, hey Dana. Everyone wave hi to Dana. <laughs> we love a good um, black crop top moment. And I paired these with just blue gap jeans and then I also put on my black Nike blazers and I think this is just super simple and chic and you guys know I love my plain black tops so this is perfect for me. Then if we want to get fancy we can throw on the sheer funky oh my god wait I'm obsessed with this outfit now. 
it's so cute this is also vintage i found it in my mom's closet seriously shout out to tina because clearly she has the best hand-me-downs but this is sheer and it's like lime pink and black and it honestly brings together this fit i'm obsessed then for our next outfit we can pair it with a long crochet sweater oh this is so cute i never knew what really to wear this sweater with because it's super long like it literally goes down to my ankles um but i'm kind of loving it with with these just like boot cut jeans black little bralette top and leaving it open i think this is so cute so in the same top i just threw on new pants these are from LF, the Carmar Denim. I think you can still find them online. These are in the purplish gray color, but I think they're super cute. And I just have them paired with some black chunky sneaks for a casual spring look. All right, you guys, I think those are all the outfits I have for you guys today. Honestly, this was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I was really excited to do this because I have some fire pieces in there, so I thought. But um, I guess making outfits in advance is a little bit harder than I thought. Usually, like, my style has, has developed a lot since moving to New York. Um, I was born and raised in Connecticut, so I was always just wearing athletic clothes or just comfy clothes. I'm pretty sure I wore, like, a sweatshirt um to high school every day and i've always loved fashion and like loved really cool clothes but never felt like it was appreciated in my hometown or never really felt like i could express myself the way i wanted to with my clothes so i always just played it safe and kept my wardrobe super simple um and was a little bit shy and i think that i'm still working through that and as i get older i've been learning to just wear whatever the heck I want, but um, living in New York has really helped that. And I noticed that my daily outfits are kind of inspired by the people that I see walking on the street. So I guess I'm not so good at pre-planning all these outfits, um, more so just, just always constantly wearing whatever I feel like when I wake up that day, throwing on whatever makes me feel good. Um, but yeah, I think that some of these some of these um, outfits that I showed you guys today, I definitely will be wearing this spring. So I hope I inspired you guys um, to do some shopping this spring. <laughs> it's in the times of COVID, it's one thing that I know I do to keep myself excited. Um, I've been online shopping and recently I've bought in a few bikinis because it is summer right around the corner and I literally can't wait another second to be in the sun and swimming in the ocean. So I've been getting a little excited and I purchased some bikinis. So I'll show you guys once those arrive. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It means the world to me. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked some of my fits that I showed you today. I hope I inspired some of you guys for some spring outfits. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with some friends that need some spring outfit inspiration and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and have a great week.